Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can actually make more than 100 pages of a document on Canva. If you are into KDP and you use Canva, you will notice that Canva only allows you to have up to 100 pages. But there are times that we want to make books that are more than 100 pages, like 120 or 150, depending on the type of book you want to make. But Canva doesn't give you that opportunity. So this video I'm going to show you how you can actually do that and maneuver your way to get up to 120 pages or as much pages as you want even if you are using Canva. Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Austin Sonje. If this is your first time, I want to specially welcome you to my channel. I created this channel to be able to reach as many people as possible that are looking for practical solutions to grow their businesses and personal finance. So if that is something you're interested in, I want you to click on the subscribe button and the bell notification button so that I can be notified anytime I post a new video. But before we get into the video, I want to specially thank those of you that have subscribed to my channel. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I want you to support me and encourage me by clicking that subscribe button, click the bell notification button, share the video, like it so that other people can also benefit from it. So let's head into the video straight away. So now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to make a, a book. The first thing that we want to do is that we want to make a book that is 120 pages. And we know fully well that Canva can only take 100 pages. So I'm going to show you how we are going to manipulate it and get our 120 pages. So now, we are going to pick our dimension. So we click this plus sign here and come to our custom size, change it from pixels to inches. Then we are going to be using 8.5. It depends on what you want to use, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using 8.5 times 11. Then I click Create here. After I'm done clicking Create, what I'm now going to do is that I'm now going to just pick, come to this Upload here. I'll pick this that I've made before. This is a book that I made recently. I showed you how I made it on YouTube here. So I'll leave a link to it. So I'm going to create a hundred pages first with this. So I'm just going to come here and duplicate it till I get 100 pages. I'll keep duplicating till it gets to a hundred pages. So we are going to make our first hundred pages. So now I've gotten to a hundred page. Now if I click this duplicate again, Canva will tell me that I've exceeded the maximum, which is hundred, right? So the first thing I'm now going to do is that I'm going to change the name of this document it's important to do that come to this part change the name of the document i'm going to write it as first document i'm going to click create this new design here now you can see first document and i'm going to now download it as a pdf file click this pdf print then download So my first 100 page is ready. Now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to come to the home page here. Then click this plus sign here. Come to custom size. Change it from pixels to inches. Then use the same dimensions I used. The same dimension I used for my first document. I'm going to use it for this second one. So I'm going to click 8.5 times 11. And click create new design here. And I'm going to make my next 20 pages. So from this is now going to be 101 to 120. So I'm just going to come to this plus sign, come to my upload here. Then fill this up. So now this is filled up. Then I'm going to make 20 pages of this. So I'm going to duplicate this till we get to 20. So this is 20. You can do 150, you can do 200, just in as much as you want to do but for this video i'm going to be doing 120 pages so after you are done with that i'm going to come here and name it as second document second document it's very important for you to name the document second document very important for you to name the document as you can see the name is here second document then i'm going to click here and download it as a pdf print file So now my first and second documents are ready. The next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to Google Play Store. So in Google Play Store, now I'm in Google Play Store. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for PDF 
PDF merge. As you can see it's here. Now I'm going to pick this particular one, this one, because that's the one I'm actually used to, and that's the one I use. So I click it here, PDF merge. After I'm done with that, I'll just click install here and wait for it to install. So as you can see, it's already installed. I'll just click open here. So the next thing I'll do is that I'll click merge PDF up here. Then I come to this plus sign here and click the plus sign. Then you see files on this device. Then you click that. Now as you can see, there's first document here and the second document here. Now the trick is, the first document is the first one you click. The second document is the second one you click. If you are making a book that is up to 300 pages, make sure it follows that suit. So I'm going to click this first document first, then second document here. I'm going to click the select. After I'm done with that, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to click this and click this, then come to this sign here and click it. Then name the file as, I'll just name it with my name, Austin Sunday. Then change it from low to high. Then all I need to do is to click save. Now it will bring me to my downloads and I click save here. So it has been saved. If I want to look at the file, all I need to do is to click this, my drive here. And you can see it's look at it look at it here it's 120 pages already so this is what you can do to actually get more than 100 pages from canva so you make the first hundred make the second to when it gets to 120 pages As you can see here it's written down here 120 pages here so all you have to now do is go to your kdp account and upload it I want to thank you so much for watching this video to the end. If you have any comments, any question, don't forget to leave it in the comment section. I made this video because one of my subscribers actually asked me to make it. So if you have a, a particular question you want me to answer on YouTube, something you don't understand uh, about KDP or whatever you want, just leave it at the comment section. I might just make a video for you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.